Well, Grand Island schools are wrapping up day two of their test to stay program for unvaccinated students. News 4's Abby Fribben joins us now with an update on this pilot program and tells us what school officials want from the state of New York. Abby? Yeah, Don and Jackie, the Grand Island superintendent tells me 23 unvaccinated students participated in this test to stay pilot program today all throughout the district. That means they came in close contact with a COVID positive student. All 23 were able to go to class. You know, that's really good news for students and maintaining a continuity of learning uh, every day. Two days into the test to stay pilot and superintendent Dr. Brian Graham is feeling good about the partnership with Erie County and Buffalo Home Care. Other school leaders are pushing for countywide test to stay programs like neighboring states and counties. It's been working all year in Massachusetts. Um, they're doing it in Monroe County, 60 miles down the road. It's available to all school districts in the county. Uh, they have 750,000 tests. We know it works. But Erie County Executive Mark Polencars says the county is making sure all I's are dotted and T's are crossed before making any other moves. We want to make certain that if we're going to implement a test to stay program uh, in our entire community, uh, we first off have to work with the school districts to do that, but we want to make certain that it is safe. The Grand Island District is partnering with Erie County. The school pays for the cost of Buffalo home care, while the county pays for the test. But Dr. Graham says they need support from a much larger department. It would be wonderful if the New York State Department of Health, you know, took interest in that and, um, you know, provided support, uh, whether it's, you know, access to tests and other supports that would make this scalable across Erie County and across the state. With the program expected to wrap up at the end of the month, Poland Cars says patience is key. And we don't want to rush and do something that theoretically could backfire and then see that a whole classroom or a whole school is closed. The Erie County Department of Health is reporting 41% of Grand Island residents 19 and younger have at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. Abby Fridman, News 4.